Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a Planet Tyro channel update. And you know what? For this one, which is a very special one, as you can see in the title, I have to get my original partner, man, original founding member, the first person I spoke to when I started Planet Tyro. Back then, he was called the old boy. And the picture he had, you know, if you're on YouTube, I can actually find his first avatar, the cat with the anime eyes. That scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> I remember we had discussions about that when I walked into the uh, the audition. That's when I called you Catface. As soon as I saw them goddamn freaky, that smiling cat eyes, oh my God. Oh, that was a cat face. Anyway, oh boy, man. Hey, you know, man, this is a, this is a very monumental video because first of all, we've hit a couple milestones. Again, in the grand scheme of YouTube 2017, it doesn't mean anything, but I'll tell you the first one that does mean a lot to me. 500 videos, man. I cannot believe that we passed the 500 videos and 95% of them are reviews. They're reviews for anime, manga, television shows. And I think we've covered so much content that we personally love and other things we were objective on. And you know what, man? I want to do this discussion with you and I want to talk about a lot of things behind the scenes because, you know, on YouTube, you shouldn't just create content. You should connect with your audience. Now, you know what, guys? Again, I'll just tell you right now, before I even let the old boy speak, this is going to be me and old boy, young boy, talking about the past, talking about things. This is a behind the scenes. So if you're not really into that shit, there's no review here. It's just us two talking real talk. So that's what you're in for. So now I want to say thank you for being on this one, old boy. Yeah, thanks for having me as always. I mean, I never really imagined, you know, when we first started talking, even though I was the first person, like, I would figured you would talk to somebody in real life about the the idea of the project and everything back when we were on Spill.com. But yeah. I guess that's a tale for another time, huh? Maybe it's something for the audience to look forward to next year, our origin story. How we met? No, we should go through a little bit now because... Uh, oh, now? Be honest, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. How did we meet? You tell the people just from the day, Doc, because I remember it was... I think it was late 2010. So this was seven years, was nearly eight years ago now. This was about this time, 2010. So that would be, yeah, seven years ago, exactly. Yeah, I remember we started talking about the idea. And we're like, no, 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 we want to do this right. We want, we don't want to fuck it up. We all, <laughs> we all want to like, try it and it's shit. And then that's all we ever did. So we talked about it and planned it But for wh like where did we meet? Months. First of all, where did we On meet? On spill.com, yeah. which I mentioned in our last Ralph Bakshi uh, wrap-up video, like really briefly, but we met on this social media website where the guys who ran it, the featured podcasts, did like animated versions of themselves giving movie reviews and stuff. And that was like their shtick. That was their gimmick. And then they had other people, because it was a social media website, they had other people who were allowed to put their work out there too. And we were one of those people. Now, the fun thing about this website is, which is hilarious because like they were a bunch of animators and stuff mostly. Yeah. They hated anime. They fucking hated anime. So that was our niche. We were like the redheaded stepchild on that website. And we just started talking like uh, the way the forums ran back then, which I have no idea how they run anymore because I don't go on forums anymore. But, you know, you could see what the last post was <laughs> on the forum. So the one time I wanted to look at the forums, I was just like, eh, you know, I guess uh, the, the podcasting thing's neat. What, what's going on with the people? And there I was, lo and behold, Don, Juan, Don Juan's wanted poster for talent on a personal project, a personal, a personal soldier, sorry, yeah. of anime and manga specifically. That was originally our idea, was just manga and anime reviews and insights and stuff. And we used to do some fun stuff. I remember I used to do some really detailed uh, blogs and stuff. Uh, because I enjoy creative writing, I enjoy reading literature, even though we talk, I've talked mostly about anime and manga, even to our translation, or I mean, even to our transition to YouTube, yeah. I still do stuff like I'm reading The Odyssey, I have Jules Verne's uh, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, I plan to read and talk about at some point, and you know, other stuff like, I could tell you about Oedipus, which most people think of Oedipus as, oh, the dude that fucked his mom. It's a much more complicated story about that, uh, involving the concept of a person struggle against fate if they know ahead of time what their future holds does everything they do push them towards that future that's hmm. actually what Oedipus's story is about and I can break that down to you because it's something that interests me but getting back to our origin story you know so I came into this uh, this forum post and apparently I was the only guy that was like yeah I'll do it 
you got it. Yes, well, sir, you won. I'll do you it. won the only one. You <laughs> was. Won. Everybody else, everybody else was like, "Oh, that's a cool idea. Good luck. Thumbs up." <laughs> oh, yeah, actually, that's true. You were the first one that was actually. I put up the the post. So I, I want to do an anime podcast because I love Spool They did movie reviews mostly and entertainment podcasts, but they were missing the anime niche. And I'm like, this site would be perfect if they just did anime. So why don't we fill that void? And you know, I was so inspired by what Corey and the boys were doing on that site. I just wanted to. I just, I, I loved audio, I love tech, and I was like, you know, we can do this. I'm very, I spent, guys, we did a video. I've done videos on my anime collection. I spent thousands of pounds on anime. I'm somewhat knowledgeable. I'm more, much more knowledgeable now than I was then, but I was a collector, and I just thought, you know what? Why don't we just do a fan thing? And again, Old Boy was the first one. There was a lot of well wishes, like you said, but let me tell you something, man. It was a great site to do this thing on because we had a nice little corner. We were featured a lot. I made friends there. I've still met to this day. I mean, I, I know there was a lot of collaborators, a lot of people that fucked us around, a lot of people that didn't stay for the ride. But friends, people that I still know now, I'm still friends on Facebook that we've had on interviews and reviews on the on the channel. You can find them all in the in the video section. They're still there, and it was a fucking fun time. And you know. That was when podcasting was really starting the scene. No one really knew what it was. It was just starting, you know, even YouTube, compared to what it is now, where YouTube is just such an utility. It is just, it's just a necessity in anyone's life. It's, it's, YouTube is like Coke. You know, it's even more popular. It's just, it just is. Back then, YouTube, podcast, meh, they were just things. I think, I think people thought of it as a gimmick. You know what I mean? Yeah. It wasn't until like Rich Eisen and you know all these other big names started doing like their own podcasts or their own YouTube channels that all of a sudden there was validity to it. Yeah, and you know, don't talk about Spill too much, but we met on there and we grew a community there and we was growing there and you know, I have a lot of regrets. I have a lot of regrets and a lot of the regrets. So like that hard drive you personally made a collection no 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 of Those... anime that the spill crew would love it was lost forever well, well, one was lost i sent it to him again he got it he laughed about it on the Look, i'm not going to get into certain things but no that's not the regrets i'm talking about the regrets i'm talking about is about is, our, is about our success and what we could have been and just missed opportunities just because personally i didn't execute things the right way that like, i remember and i will give this to you i remember there was a point you were saying to me you know we should just do this shit on youtube early early in the process but i was early, like no. early on yeah i was like no nah, man you know every because i was trying to follow the podcast everyone's doing it on the podcast audio only and Nobody's i was paying attention you should, fuck that shit that's where like that's where like laughing at fat kids falling <laughs> well and you know i was paying for this shit youtube is free and i didn't really see i always saw youtube this is a video medium so you know i don't want to bore people with this shit too much just, let me just fast forward a bit so it was on spill.com we made a community there the site tanked and when it did I wasn't sure how to proceed. We were still getting, I mean, at our heights, I showed you, we were getting 40,000 downloads. We was getting so much downloads. Yeah, we were, we were doing really good back yeah. then. And I didn't even give a shit. I really was, it was just fun. But then I started, I started to take it more seriously and people, everyone started to take the shit more seriously at the wrong time, at the right time. And I waited a year and then I went, it, it was a big mess. I have a lot of regrets. I worked with a lot of people and I just wish I did things differently. Because I love podcasting. I love doing this thing. And right now, on YouTube, we've got over 800 subscribers, which again, in the grand scheme of YouTube, 27, 889. But hey, you know what? Like, even if they only tune in every once in a while, like even once a year or something, I could never get 800 people together and tell them anything about how I feel about shit. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like, so to me, just as a person, that's like an amazing thing to me. Like, I love what we do. I don't have any regrets, but I also just talk. Like, I, I do very little editing sometimes sure. when I do solo stuff. So it's like, it's been really just a hobby for me. This has been a real pra passion project for you. I remember we even talked about, like, I don't want to do this, but people are doing crowdfunding and stuff. I was like, dude, just do what you want. Like, I will respect you either way. I respect yeah. that you've done this all out of your own pocket up to this point. I remember there's a bunch of times where you're like, I don't know if I can keep doing this. It's stressing me out. Yeah. Uh, I think about quitting and stuff. Like, dude, just do it as a hobby. Do it as something you love. And we've gotten this far from it. You know well, what that's, I mean? Well, that's part of the reason. And let's just skip to this part now. That's part of the reason why I'm doing a channel update because things do have to change. Because I'm at a point now where I understand that I'm going to be doing this for life and I don't have to do it out of pocket. Becoming your own creator it's become such a viable job position, pros sorry, a job prospect that you can live off it. And it, 
you know, you don't have to be the top YouTubers or Corey Coleman. You can be have moderate success and live. I could do this. I've I've spoken to you about this off mic now, oh boy. That you can do this. There's actually ways you can do this as your full time job, what you love, and that's what I want to do. But to do that, we have to change our ways. And people have been emailing me for years saying, "Oh, why don't you talk about this?" And to be honest with you, they mostly know us. A lot of you guys listening now know us for anime and manga, and you've always wanted us to focus on that. But there's a couple of reasons why we didn't. Number one. The main reason, of course, and to be honest, it's the most reasonable reason, is that my love for anime has waned. And I do not I do not want to talk about anything I'm not passionate about. It's just, it really is that simple. You could call me a curmudgeon or an elitist or whatever you want, but anime is not the same. There's always going to be great anime, and I'm sure I've already missed five years' worth of decent titles. Not five years' worth of pure content, just within five years, I'm sure I've missed... 10 titles I just I would love amazing that were awesome you know yeah. I know what you're saying exactly but the problem is yeah. the amount of time it takes there's so much schlock yes you know you keep in mind even for schlocky stuff people are like oh this is the greatest thing ever so it's like you have to do it yourself to find out whether or not it's something you're gonna love if it's really worth it you have to do it yourself it's all about time yeah and meanwhile, the other genre is that like television's having a massive renaissance. This- oh, man, television. I remember I stopped yeah. watching that shit, and you're like, dude, you need to start fucking watching television. Watch these three things right now. We're going to talk about them. That started getting me back to television. The television's fucking awesome now. Television is so... Right now, television, I would, I could talk about television. This could be a television channel on YouTube because there's so many networks now. Every network, every the sites even. Look at Hulu. Look at Netflix. Even when we started, Netflix was nothing. Netflix was selling DVDs. Now they're creating their own content. They are rivaling Disney. Netflix are the not. They're making their own fucking movies. Netflix. Yeah, Netflix are, is nuts. Netflix yeah. is basically. You think about TV. That is the modicum for success with TV. Everybody else is trying to copy them too yeah. because people like a winner. They're going to copy success. So it's like that's where TV's at. TV's at its pinnacle right now. It's a, it's a fucking insane. The only thing that could be better with TV is to put on 3D goggles or something, and you were like right there in the show or something. Yeah, man. And look, man, I'm I'm so excited about YouTube. I'm so excited about being a content creator because thanks to things like Patreon and Kickstarter, you really can live off your passions. There's no other time in history. I don't think that there's so much ripe opportunity to do what you love and live off it. And my thing is, this thing we're doing on YouTube right now isn't giving me shit. If you ask me how much money I've got off YouTube since the start of this, almost zero. That pennies, literally next to nothing. And I'm doing this now on YouTube, just YouTube for four years. But the whole thing we're doing for seven years. Going on, you know, eight years, going to a decade. So I'm at a point now where like, I love doing this, but I would be a fool to continue doing this and not pursue it as a proper job when other people are. And other people are with lesser content, with lesser ideas. And with me saying that, I don't think what we do now, just doing our reviews, is profitable because it's an oversaturated market. Review channels are a dime a dozen. And unless you've got some unique, super unique take, there's just too many channels. And I'm like, no. Me being a cat's not enough. (laughs) You being a cat could work in a different avenue, which we might explore. But I'm just saying that, as it stands now, this isn't lucrative. I think what we're doing now could work if we had another product to kind of supplement it. And that's what I want to do. So guys, the reason I do this channel um, update is to first let you guys know the diehards that are listening to this, I've already listened to the 15 minutes we've already been talking that we need to stop what we're doing now to invest in our own future so we can continue doing this more because I would love if it was just, I could just do this with Catface all day, every day, but I would want, I would want him to stop his job and do it with me so we can do more shit, more creative stuff because I'm telling you, if we were completely financially free, there's so much things we'll talk. We will talk about every show because we would have the yeah, time. Yeah, because we have the time to just fucking sit there and watch everything. We will talk about a lot of anime because we have to. I would do more anime if we had. If I have a job, I would people always anime. want us to talk about stuff that's coming out right now. Not even just necessarily anime. They just want us to talk about shit like, well, like The Walking Dead. They want us to be up to date on that. It's like you know what? If I had the time and I had the money, just sit there and go through all the new stuff and I would find the stuff I like, find stuff that's worth talking about, even if it's negative. I would fucking do it. Yeah, but I yeah. don't. I gotta work a job. I have a relationship I have to nurture. I got a cat. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, I have a human I gotta take care of. Yeah. You know, it's like I have life. I yeah. have a life beyond watching TV and shit. Yeah, and again, 
people have just shown over and over and over again that it can be done. So what we want to do is we want to, me and Oprah are going to be working behind the scenes to actually do something to see what we, if, to see if we can make it, if we can actually make it financially. And I want to take a risk because at the end of the day, doing reviews is not very creative. I'm reviewing other people's content. I actually do want to create something slightly original. Even if it's a comedy show or something, I actually want to, don't just want to talk about other people's content. I don't really consider myself to be a creative person in the most obvious sense, but I do think I have something in me that could be, I do think I could create something, something special, something that we can live off, something entertaining, something that you guys would enjoy listening, something that will complement Planet Tyro as a reviewing channel as well. And I want to give it a try, but to do that, we have to stop. I need to stop what I'm doing, take the time out and work on it. And again, I do want to enjoy my life and other things, but you know what? I am I will never, I just want to let you guys know that we're going on a hiatus, but we are podcasters for life. We're going to be reviewing for life. Even on this hiatus, you're going to see things popping up on the channel. And it doesn't bother me if we start losing subscribers because we don't do whatever, because right now we've got two videos a week and after, in 2018, that's going to stop. I'm not really bothered because it's an investment that I feel like we're going to take. And honestly, I, I don't really have any fear it wouldn't work out because I do think even on a small scale, we can create something that could bring us a little bit of money. I really do think so. I really do because other people are just aren't. So it's a challenge to myself. I'm pointing, I would be disappointed if I couldn't because even if I have to do some shit I don't really per se want to do, to be honest with you, to continue doing this, I would consider it a, it a job. And that's what being an adult is about. Paying bills, doing something you like, aka a job, so you can spend your time doing things you like and you need money to do that. So if I have to get another YouTube job, aka do something I don't necessarily want to do to fund this full time, it's hella worth it. Especially if you guys enjoy the other thing that I don't really love. But you know what? Again, I might be sending a bit of a mixed message here, but guys, you know, my buddy, um, the anime snob, I want to I want to talk about him for a minute because... Oh, man, you're OG, buddy. Yeah, my this buddy. This fucking guy. He's going through some hard times because I always say to him, you guys know me and him are friends. We do these podcasts. I haven't spoken to him in a while, but he got kicked off YouTube recently and I always say to him, he knows, he always says this, I'm not going to fight against the power. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to sell myself out. But he's trying to get a book out himself. I know that dude, man. You know, in some way, and I'll, look, if you're listening now, so I'm not talking behind you, but I'll tell you this right now. It's a bit naive to say, I don't want to do this. I don't want to appease people. I don't want to sell out. But then you're going to be put aside. No. Like, some people, there's very few people in life that do just whatever they want and get everything out of it. It's either luck or, I don't know, man. It just doesn't happen to everyone. So They're usually born into that kind of wealth, to yeah. be frank. You know, if you, want, if you want to be a self-made man and do what you want to do, you need to bite the bullet and do stuff you don't want to do. The only difference yeah. between a kid and an adult is responsibility. Yeah. Responsibility is stuff most people don't want to do. And I'm bringing him up, not just to shit on him, but bringing as a, a content creator example of someone who I think has got talent, who if he did something a different way, which I have said to him, in, 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 if he did this a different way, he'll be, a lot, he'll be financially secure. And he knows it himself, but he refuses to do it. And on that level, I respect him for that, but you pay the price. I don't think you even have to do it. I don't think you have to sell your fucking soul in this world to make even. And again, with the world now today where anyone can fund you, you just got to find your niche or you just got to make some people like, it's, it's possible. So so anyway, man, I've really enjoyed what we've done in Planet Tower so far, but I was waiting to get to the 500 mark to stop me like, that's enough. That's my selfish time done now. I can't afford to punish myself financially make these videos that get low views just because a few people like it, but I can't live off it. It just doesn't make any fucking sense to keep on doing this way when I could, if I just took a time out, a, possibly a year or two out, if we came up with a winning project then, and people, we had a thousand fans and they found out we did reviews anyway, it would inherently bump up the channel. But anyway, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited. I want you guys to know this. I'm very excited about trying something new. I think it could work. I want to get old boy involved, you know, but you know, me and him are across the pond. Even if old boy wasn't involved, I said, I would still try something, but the loyalty, this brother, this cat face has shown me, I would always show him some love. You get what I'm saying? For just sticking with me. I really appreciate that. Especially since over the years, a lot of people have fallen by the wayside. But even in saying that a lot of you guys, a lot of you fans, a lot of you guys that haven't even contributed. 
I know we've had subscribers for years. I can see that. I know we've had subscribers for years that haven't left, that have enjoyed the content, that have followed us from our non-anime ways, that really do comment every once in a while. Guys, I really do appreciate you. And I really do appreciate all the feedback and, you know, all the advice you've given. But, you know, now it's time to make a change. And I just want you guys to know that it is that time. And I do appreciate it. And it makes sense. But we're not going away. We just have to step no, back. We're never going to stop doing this. This is, yeah. we love this. But we had to scale it back to make it sustainable. Yeah. When I see, honestly, guys, if you put in, you know, YouTubers are making money off doing nothing, all the Jake Like, Pauls, fucking reaction videos. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yeah. I mean, I, I won't, you won't see me making another channel where I'm just dressed up like a clown making reaction videos. No, I'm not going to. I, I do want to do something really cool, something I enjoy doing that me and. Oh boy, we're going to be brainstorming about um, off mic and stuff like that. But all I got to say is stay tuned. Follow the underscore old boy. Follow me at Don Tyro and follow Planet Tyro because if you follow us, if you join the Facebook group, all links will be in the description. We will let you know. But we're not gonna uh, we're not gonna advertise a lot of it on this channel per se. But I will be dropping hints as we're making waves. But if we do really make it big, of course we, will, we there'll be a big announcement on this channel that hey we're doing this other thing that's blown up. Guys, check that out as well. But uh, all I've got to say is, man, I'm so grateful for my buddy here sticking me with this all this time. I've really enjoyed all the podcasts with Old Boy, all the other guests, Nuance, GA, Anime Snob, uh, Cafe and Jedi. One life. One, one life. life. One life to live, buddy. You know, I remember all that and we still got the recordings there. The channel will never be deleted unless YouTube deletes the channel or whatever, unless YouTube goes away, which again, I don't foresee happening. But um yeah, I just went on a ramble, but uh, is there anything else you want to say? Because I kind of, I think I've got across all the things I kind of wanted to say. Well, I mean, coming from our humble beginnings, it's always awesome to think that we've had people with us since then, since our Spill.com days. Yeah. You know, Much love to you. Thanks for being here on the ride with us this whole time. And uh, to the new faces too, hey, it's great having you. You know, it's nice to be able to reach out to people. You might not even agree with the things that we're saying, our viewpoints, our opinions and stuff, but it's cool that you find value in it. Even if that value is entertainment, I don't know. Uh, but it's cool that you're here. You yeah. know what I mean? And hopefully we can make it reach more people and have more of you. That's and okay. make it so that, you know, we're just... We're going from, like, a strictly catered audience to, you know, try to go bigger so we can do more. Yeah. Oh, guys, if you're wondering, I guess I should have said in the beginning... Any current projects that we have going is going to finish. So the Woody Allen retrospective, we're, that's gonna, we're nearly finished that anyway. That's why... I'm wrapping it up now because we've only got like 10 videos of that to do. But we've, me and uh, Old Boy just finished the Ralph Factory retrospective. We've got nothing, uh, we're stopping everything else. We, did, we kind of wrapped up, we might, we've got a manga review that's going to come. I can tell you that much. There's a manga I'm reading. As soon as I finish it, we're going to do it in next year. We'll just ban that out as well. But after that, you'll just see things coming sporadically and we'll work on things in the background. But uh, it's been a fun ride, but we need to take a little a reassessment. You know what I mean? To, to to make things bigger and better. And I'm really excited because, you know, we've been talking about, we're working on things and I've seen the potential of what could happen and it would be awesome if a year from now we got another announcement about shit really working out. Even a year, two years. I'm not in a rush. This could take a while, guys. I'm going to tell you that now. The channel might suffer subscriber-wise, but, you know, guys, follow us on... Oh, shit! One more thing I forgot to say. Man... Follow us on Stardust. There's an app called Stardust, man. Listen, that is a re it's a reaction uh, app where you can just react what? to shows. You're selling out. Oh, my God. Reaction videos. <laughs> <laughs> it's very popular. It's 30 second reactions, guys. We're going to be on Stardust. Guys, I'll put a link in the description. I'm, I'm telling Catface, you're going to see his, his real life cat avatar. You'll see it there. We already spoke about it. I'm on there already. I've already made reviews. So every show I watch, I'm on Stardust. I believe my... Uh, Handle is at Don One. Yeah, it's, it's at Don One. But uh, when Catface comes on there, because he's got a funny idea for his one, it's going to be pretty fun. We're both going to be on there, and you can review anime shows. If you want to hear my opinion on anything trending, I'm going to be on Stardust. So follow me on the Stardust app. It's really blowing up. All your favorite creators are on there. It's being endorsed by our friends at Double Toasted. Channel Awesome. Everyone's on Stardust right now. It's just very easy, convenient. You know, you don't have to be a YouTuber to use it. It's just press record, say what you think, come out. And that's it. It's not very glamorous. It's not like our YouTube videos. But if you want to keep in touch with us, you want our reviews that are not going to be on here, just our quick thoughts, stuff we wouldn't even talk about, I'm sure you'll find on there. So 
follow us on Stardust. Again, Catface isn't on there yet, but I'm on there. And um, he'll be my friend on there. So even if you just follow me, you'll see. Follow my friends as well, because a lot of people that are listening on you. And you know what? If you're on Stardust, add me. I'll follow you back, and I'll be interested to see what you guys review. But obviously, if you guys are idiots, then I'm going to unfollow you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow, follow each other. Yeah. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it, man. I did want this to be about half an hour, and we're at the 25-minute mark now. So. Oh, shit. Okay, so... uh. It's awesome being here. Thank you. I love to ride the whole time. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not cool. rushing you. I think it's cool that we've done this the whole time. Um, but no, it's, it's been awesome, man. The reason why I'm still here is because you make it fun to do it. You know what I mean? If it was not fun, even the Ralph Bakshi thing, even some of the shit was fucking giving me a headache. But yeah. it still was fun to come out and do it with you afterwards. You know what I mean? So it's always been like a fun thing for me. I've, I've enjoyed the ride the whole time. And I, I should say this, man. I want to thank the authors the people that work on the television, because there's so many, let me tell you something, I don't give a fuck about the, the subscribe account per se, because sometimes when I release a review, I get tweeted by the director, or the production agent, or most recently, I got tweeted by, uh, was by Audible, because I reviewed one of these books recently, I think it was um, Bloody Jack, and uh, someone tweeted me, the narrator's video, reading the book, and I think Audible were very thankful, they like, and I'm just like, hey man, that just makes it all worth it, not even just the, the accolades or the subscribers, just reaching the people that made the content we talk about. Sometimes that just really touches me and that, that really makes it awesome. So I don't want to forget to forget forget the actual creators that made the stuff we speak about because just participating in what they create, whether we love it or whether we hate it, whether it's Ralph Bakshi or whether it's uh, Woody Allen or what have you, even if it's guys that are doing fan creation that we speak about, you know, like... Um, What's that audio book? Uh, uh, what's that audio book? You made me read the, the zombie apocalypse one? Oh, We're Alive. We're Alive. Casey Whalen. He commented on our video. He really? Commented. Casey did? Oh, yeah. man. I love his story, too. It's so awesome. My favorite favorite zombie story, if you haven't heard of our We're Alive recording, yeah. go to zombiepodcast.com. We're Alive. They have another project after that story, which I actually haven't even checked out myself yet, but their original project, We're Alive. Is an audio drama, like a radio drama. It's so fucking good. It's like um, the Walking Dead video game series, the Telltale game series story, and that they're like on par with each other. They're really awesome. Yeah, yeah. You know, I could, I just, there's so many sites, big, that big YouTubers that like Cinema Sins, Fantos for uh, we're talking about their book, retweeted us. Uh, Cinefix, massive uh, movie site as well. I mean, it, it's just been great. It's been great doing this. And I would have really moved on to bigger and better things. And that's, that is the fucking plan. The plan is to move on to bigger and better things. And we've got to go on a hiatus to do that. That is the channel update right there. <laughs> in a nutshell. So if you sat here and listened to this whole discussion of me and no boy briefly talking about our past and what we're going to do and all that stuff. Thank you. I know it's inconsequential. I know it's sort of a review. I know some of you guys might not give a fuck. But I assume if you've listened to me up to this point, you were slightly interested. And all of you guys, especially the fans, especially the commenters, i got favourites. Like T Kun and Bio Gundam. Yeah, some of you, I know I'm forgetting some of you, but some of you guys have been very, I love you guys. Some of you guys always like us on Twitter. I wish I could remember all your names. I wish I should because we've got a very small pool, but. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> Wait for the fans. Hashtag for the fans. Yeah, I got much love for you guys. So thank you for listening. And, you know, just, you know, don't subscribe to the channel straight away. Stay tuned. We're going to have more content, but, you know, just stay tuned for future products. And uh, for the minute of time, Oh boy, I want to say for the foreseeable future, thank you for joining me on another recording, especially on the channel update. Oh yeah, man. It's been awesome. I look forward to our future project too. I think we might even do more than one thing and it's going to be real fun. Why not? I really definitely do. I'm not not just shooting in one battle. We are going to scatter shot and see what sticks. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Ralph Bakshi it. Yeah, that's what the creative force is going to be. So guys, thanks for watching. Again, this was just a channel update, but again, there'll be links on the screen to subscribe to the channel. I don't see how you'll come up with this channel update in the YouTube algorithm, but if you do, we do a lot of reviews on YouTube. We've got over 500 videos and you know what? We're on a podcast as well, so you don't have to listen to us on the YouTube website. You can subscribe to us on the podcast. Every link will be down in the description below. I don't know if I'll edit this one. I might leave it raw because I don't think there was a lot of dead air. I don't think I need to except for the the uh, sounds in the backgrounds of me and the old boys. But anyway, guys, thank you for listening. Thank you for sticking with us all this time. Seven to ten year journey. Oh boy, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And again, guys, we'll see you on uh, on another project or recording. We'll see you when we see you. Yeah, see you when we see you. Hopefully we're a lot bigger when we see you next time. <laughs> that is the plan. That is the plan.